hello my people it's winnie i'm back i hope you all doing great so guys today we're gonna talk about how americans uh buy and return clothes in the stores after wearing them um i'm making this video to encourage those of you who live in you know wherever you are all over the world because i know that people live uh, people americans it's a lot of us it's a lot of us from different countries who make this country more progressive okay so guys when i talk about americans uh my video is it's all over you know maybe you are white maybe you are black maybe you are an african maybe you are chinese mexican it doesn't matter but the video is about how americans buy clothes and return them after wearing so guys i am making this video to encourage whoever is watching this video and you're new to this country i'm just gonna tell you do not be fooled with people who you're gonna you're gonna see people posting photos online you're gonna see people wearing expensive stuff you're gonna see people wearing expensive cl uh, designer clothes but these clothes are paid on credit and they're going to return this stuff the following day so i am making this video to encourage you and to tell you that people live a fake life in the u.s uh, maybe let me say abroad because i don't want to say abroad um, u.s because if this is happening in the u.s which is a first world country it means it that it happening it's happening in other places so guys the reason why i'm making this video is because i have had people talk about it i have seen it i have witnessed this and i feel like it's the right time to talk about it i know a lot of you are going to come here in may uh green card people are going to be here in may but i want to tell you that when you come to this place you better live your life you better not copy other people's life because you don't know what they're doing to get whatever they're doing you know so guys i'm gonna tell you how americans survive in the u.s first of all like i said when i say americans all inclusive kenyans ugandans all over the world it's americans okay so this is what happens guys people go and buy stuff uh from the stores you know especially clothing they go you can go you can go to walmart you can go to uh uh calls michael calls you know for example designer clothes let me be specific uh when you go to church if you go to church and pay attention sometimes people don't know you know like when you when you are a thief there are some things that you cannot do every day and you <laughs> you never be caught but there are some things that you do every day and you forget about them so if you go to church more especially when you go to church you're gonna see people wearing expensive stuff every other weekend or if you go to parties, you know, we go to birthday, whatever, weddings, you're going to see people wearing designer clothes. Or still, you're going to see people posting photos about, you know, how expensive they're wearing. Dresses are very expensive. Uh, showing their clergy bags with designer labels. I'm telling you this stuff. People are just wearing them, but they just got them on credit. So, Americans go and buy, for example, a dress. I'm going to give an example, like a dress, you know. They go buy a dress or a gown or maybe a shirt or a trouser. For example, if you know you're attending a very a nice event. And you know you can't afford uh, the price of something that you want to dress. So this is what people do. They go and buy the clothes. And 99%, they're not even paying this stuff that they're, paying, they're buying. They're buying them on credit. You know, in America, people live on credit. 
they just go and buy stuff on credit and then they wear if it's a dress or a trouser or you know a shirt they wear the stuff with the price tag and then what happens is that the following day after going to an event that they were supposed to go they're done with it they just fold the stuff and return it to the store that way they can get the money back i don't understand why people do this i have no idea how somebody can just be going and buying stuff and wearing something that has not been washed because this the thing you're going to buy if it's a dress if it's a trouser or a shirt or a bra i'm telling you people go and try this stuff you know they go and fit try to fit in before you go there know that at least five people have tried that the same thing you're going to buy and for somebody to go and buy something and try it on and wear it and sit with it for like 12 hours and you're wearing somebody's sweat like how do you even do that so guys i honestly don't understand i have never done this before i have witnessed this happen because i've seen at least three people in church where I, I mean i go to different churches i go to uh scd i go to sometimes pentecostal so i like to change and see what's happening so i've seen at least three people because i haven't been to church for a long time but i know maybe right now it's even worse because of the covid and all that but i've seen at least three people wearing dresses uh with the price tag to an extent where one time I did confront one lady and I asked her, hey, excuse me, you forgot to remove your price tag, it's showing. Do you mind, you know, taking it out? And she was like, no, don't worry. Oh, thank you for letting me know. And you know what she did? She just uh, tucked the stuff in the body and so nobody could see it. And I was sitting with somebody on the side, so that is, how i learned that's how i knew that people do this because they want to return their clothes and get the money back so guys my only worry is how how do you even go and buy something and wear it on your body if you love yourself you know people have different types of orders Pe people have different types of sweat people are sweating Pe people have like skin diseases you're gonna get first of all you're gonna get an infection that you don't even know who gave it to you and you won't even know how to treat it but how dare do you even try to do this i like i said i've never done this before you guys if you're watching this video and you live in this america you know what i'm talking about and you know those people who do this and you support this video i always say like this video comment and let me know like have you ever witnessed somebody wear something with that you know a dress or something with a price tag how did you feel because for example for me when i buy something when i go and buy especially clothes i have to make sure that i need you know like i have to make sure i remove all the price tag because there was one time i forgot to remove the price tag and i went to i put all my clothes in my in the washing machine and you know what happened my clothes were all white because the paper crashed it, it, uh, the paper was washed in the clothes and it messed all my clothes and i was like oh my goodness from this day i will never ever try to wash my new clothes without checking i have to check at least twice to make sure that my clothes don't have a price tag so one time i also I met a lady who was wearing the clothes and it was had a price tag and this was Michael Kuz and I asked her hey you know your your price tag is showing and she said oh sorry I washed but I forgot to remove the price tag in my mind I was like you know what I have had your case before and I washed it but it wasn't intact like yours this is so intact you know so guys I just don't understand how people do this 
But if you're doing this and you live in this country, why don't you just live your life? Imagine you're messing with somebody's business, you know? A lot of places are closing right now, and I think the reason is because Americans are stealing. Either they're stealing, or they're just buying stuff and wearing, and returning to the store. And you know, once you buy something, especially the price goes down. That's, that's why you go to the stores and you find like a coat was, for example, $40. Now it's 10% down or 20% down because they know it's a return. It doesn't have the same value again. So guys, anyways, why am I making this video? I'm making this video because maybe you're living back home. Maybe you live in this country and you just came here the other day. Or maybe you are planning to come to this country. I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna see a lot of fake people, a lot of fake people dressing like they have the money. I'm not saying that people don't have the money, people have the money. Some people buy their stuff. You know, a lot of them do, but most people don't. So I'm making this video to encourage you that do not ever, don't you ever copy somebody's lifestyle because these people are living and buying stuff on credit and just coming to pose for photos, to pose and show you that they have their money, but in real sense, they don't got it. They don't have it. So live your life. If you're new here, do not be pressured. Do not put yourself into depression because you are trying to copy somebody's life you're gonna see a lot of funny things happening you're gonna see people driving cars this week they have a different type of a uh, car next week they're gonna drive a tesla i'm telling you they are doing that on credit and who is suffering it's them because their credit is gonna go down once you start doing that they can those people can mess your credit uh, they can mess your credit you're gonna go to celebrations and you're gonna see this happening but i'm telling you do not be scared just smile buy your stuff buy what you can afford if it's even for ten dollars or five dollars it's yours you own it you didn't borrow you didn't buy on credit you know it's yours when you come to my closet my clothes are filled up my shoes are filled up because i want to have my stuff I want to have my clothes i want to feel like you know i have it not like i have it but i don't want to mess with somebody's business i don't want to mess i don't feel like i don't want to feel like i'm doing this because i want to and um, you know impress uh social media you know like why would you do that anyway guys this video is going to end here and if you live in the u.s and you've watched i mean you've seen this happen can you drop your comments below to support this video and of course can you like this video please and of course share subscribe and leave your comments and come back for more uhondo from the us come back for more videos thank you so much guys thank you so much for always always coming back here do not forget to subscribe this is the new reveal channel on how Americans live a fake life. Thank you so much and bye until my next video. Much love.